YouTube for real estate. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how to create and design your real estate YouTube channel banner on Canva. Today, we will be creating this design here that is also available for purchase on my Etsy shop along with a few other designs. I will link my store in the description box below and in the pin comments. So let's start. All right, friends, before we begin our design in Canva, we first want to go to YouTube and search up YouTube channel banner template because we want to make sure that we have some guidelines in place before creating our design. So I'm just going to download this image right here. I'm just going to right click it, save image as and download straight to my computer. Now that we have that, let's go back into the Canva dashboard and let's go up here to the create a design button. Canva makes it really easy for you. YouTube banner right here. This is the one we want the 2560 by 1440 pixels. That's the one that we want. So click that one. Yes. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to very simply drag that template into my uploads and then I'm going to click on this and we're going to right click and we're going to set as background. Now we need to turn on our guides. So in this case, I can do shift R and it turns on my guides, but you can also go into file up here and you can turn on show rulers and guides right here. And that's what we want. That's the shortcut keyboard shortcut right there. So now what we're going to do is drag from the top and I'm going to place it here, drag from the top. And I'm just going to basically recreate the guidelines that this image has here. And this is really important because we want to make sure again, that we have the most important information in the right areas, because in most cases, people are going to be viewing your YouTube channel either on a desktop or most likely on a mobile device. And this is where we want to make sure we have our important information. So typically speaking, this is where the most important information is going to be and anything else on the sides will be able to see on a desktop computer. So I'm going to duplicate this page once more, three times. I'm going to remove this image here, remove that there. So let's create this design. I'm going to go and press R for rectangle. And I'm going to basically drag this almost two thirds right here. And I'm going to change this color to this green color here. Now we're going to go and grab our headshot. I'm going to use probably this one. And today we are using the Canva Pro version, the paid version of Canva. So if you don't have Canva Pro, I have a 30 day free trial with the affiliate link I have in the description box below or in the pinned comment. You need Canva Pro because we need to remove the background. And this is a pro feature for Canva. It's the best feature on Canva, in my opinion, because look at that magic, instant magic. So I'm going to press apply and now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do some, a little bit of some softening of the skin here with the face retouch. And then I'm just going to apply that. And there we go. We have our profile picture in place and I'm going to size this right down here. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure. I have the exact placement. Now we are also going to add a shadow or an outline. So we're going to go back up to the edit image tab and we are going to look for, let's see, let's scroll down here, go into the shadow section, open all. You can either use the glow option and create a full outline of your profile picture. But in this case, I've been really feeling the drop shadows lately. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to bump up the intensity of that shadow just a little bit more against that emerald green color. And that looks perfect. Okay. Now that we have that in, I'm just going to actually move both myself over just a little bit because I want to make room for these side taps that are going to go right on the side. So let's do that. Let's go into elements and let's go into these lines and shape. And I want, let's grab this text box or this shape here right now. So the new thing about Canva now is that with these specific shapes, you, it is also doubles as a text box. So you can see the cursor in there, which is great. I am just speeding up this portion of the video because it's pretty straightforward. I'm just duplicating those shapes and then adding in the demographics that people typically serve in real estate. And then I'm going to show you how to easily copy over text style to different shapes. Let's say we want to copy this whole 
this specific style of text size and color to the rest of these text boxes here. So what we're going to do is click this text box here. We're going to go up into the corner here and pick the copy style. And what we're going to do is drag and select all three with your mouse, let go and boom shakalaka, it's copied over. The style is amazing. It's amazing. Canva is amazing. So there you go. That's what you need to do. Now I'm going to select all four of these text boxes and I'm going to position them to the back so they are behind me and it looks like that. Clean, huh? Mm, clean. But I think I want to make this font all bolded so you can just see it just slightly that much better. Okay, now moving on, we're gonna put our name on this side here. Bold. And what I'm gonna do is go into the effects button and I'm gonna hollow it out. Now what I wanna do is just to make sure I size that properly. And I'm actually gonna change the color to this kind of nude color here. And I'm actually gonna give this a bit of a drop shadow for this one. And now you pretty much have your center completed. Now we're gonna do some extra fancy stuff in here just a little bit. Okay, now this is where the fun start. Fun starts, okay. Also go up into your elements tab here. We're gonna search up gradient circle, okay? And it's gonna be this one right here, either this one or this one. Nope, the first one. Why? Because we can change the color. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna change this to that nude color and I'm going to bring down the transparency and I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to position it right to the, not quite the back, but just behind me so that it gives this nice glowing effect and you can also see the drop shadow just a bit better even more i think that's that's a very nice elegant touch to add and then now we're gonna add in this cool little search bar and this is where you're gonna put in either your the area that you service the name of your channel or your vision or statement sentence right here okay Let's go into elements and we're going to search up the lines and shape here. And as you know, if you've been watching my tutorials, I love this shape specifically because it has the rounded corners. That's what we want. We're going to, oops, we are going to size this accordingly. Da -da -da -da. Actually, I have to make this my name a bit smaller because we want our face and our name to be within this border right here. So let's do that. Now I'm going to, I'm just gonna soften up the corners a little bit more or increase the non-roundness. <laughs> so let's do that. And then I'm gonna make this white like that. Then we're gonna go into elements and look for a search, search icon pops up like that and I'm just gonna keep it black like that I'm gonna put that there and again you can use this shape as a text box so let's just put living in your city city name name and that's pretty much it Ooh, I'm going to lock down this shape right here so I so I stop moving it so I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to go up to the right corner and just click on the lock button so I don't move it because we don't want it to move so let's make sure we select everything and position it properly so now you have your main information right there. And now we're gonna work on the side pieces here. So usually on this side, you can have a call to action either on either side. In this case, I'm going to be putting in a buyer's guide on this side and putting in my subscribe button here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go into elements and we are gonna go down into the frames. Now, specifically for this one, I want the iPad I'm going to put it right here 
I'm just gonna put it on angle like that, stylize it, stylize it. And then I'm gonna go back into my elements and I'm gonna search for, let's see here, gold honey comb abstract shape. And you can see I searched up recently. So we are going to use this one right here and we can change the color as well. So I'm gonna change it to that color here to match this and we are just going to position position it just like that i'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller let's let's zoom in here because i want to connect the, the corner like that let's see like that and i'm going to position this to the back so it's not all the way to the back but behind the ipad there so there we go that's stylized here and we can simply just drag and drop a let's see buyer's guide buyer's guide buyer's guide buyer's guide where are you right here right here and this is also available for purchase on my etsy shop as well so do check it out link in the description box below now we have this side done now we're going to work on the other side and this is fun too we can just go into the elements we're going to search subscribe button button <laughs> button and it's typically this one here and this, the nice thing about this one is again, you can change the colors to your brand colors. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna change the red to this nude color and I'm gonna change this to green so it matches the side. Ooh, it looks good. Now we're gonna add in some baby text here. New videos every Monday. And then underneath, we're going to add in our brokerage logo. Let's go down here to my logos. I'm just going to use EXP Global because EXP is also an international real estate brokerage. And we are in 23 active countries going into our 24th country by the end of this year. So I'm going to put that in here. And of course, can't forget Wolfpack, Agent Wolfpack. If you know, you know. There you go, my friends. I'm gonna turn off the guides. Boom, gorgeous. Now, if we wanna see what this looks like in, you know, in YouTube, what I typically like to do as a quality check is I'm gonna turn back my, turn on my guides again, and I'm going to press R on my keyboard for the square rectangle shape. And I'm gonna make this black. And what I'm going to do is just stretch it out so it covers the top portion. And I'm going to duplicate that again at the bottom here. So that is what your template is going to, your banner is gonna look like typically on your channel. So now that we have this banner ready to go, it's time to download this as a PNG. And I'm just going to make sure I download just the first page here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to upload this into your YouTube channel. So let's go. So of course you want to make sure you have your channel created. Now in this case, this is what my channel banner is right now. But typically when you are on your channel, you'll see here the customize channel button, which you can click, or you can also access this in your YouTube studio. But for ease, let's just click this YouTube customize channel button right here. And it's going to open the creator studio in the back end in the customize section. Now we're going to go into the branding portion. We are going to click the change button right here. And then we're going to go into our downloads and make sure Let's see, I think it is, where is it? it says buy, <laughs> buyers. Okay, so this is what we're working with. This is what the one we want. Let's click open it. And as you can see, it's giving you the same exact template as we downloaded it from Google with the guidelines there. So 
quite simply all you have to do is press done and then you can publish it straight to your channel there you go friends that is how you create your real estate youtube channel banner on canva if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and do check out my youtube for realtors playlist right over here and i'll see you in these next videos